Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I am doing an alcohol ink and resin bowl. I'm doing this one a little bit differently than I normally do though. So I am starting off with placing the alcohol directly into the mold. There's no resin or anything else in here yet. I'm mostly using Ranger alcohol inks, but I do have a couple of pinata alcohol inks, including a brown and a little bit of gold. Everything else is Ranger. And I'm using a variety of yellows, oranges, and reds here primarily, and going for a warm summer flower look. So what I'm doing differently is in the resin that I'm pouring in here, I added just a tiny bit of the Alumilite white resin dye. So that's making this milky. It's not totally white, so it's not opaque. You can see through it but it's going to bring out those colors even more and make them really, really bright as well as just give it a little bit of a different look. So once I poured my resin in, I used some 91% isopropyl alcohol to pop the air bubbles and then I just let it sit for a while. And as you can see, the alcohol inks start popping up from the sides and then some in the middle as well. And so I took a stick and kind of just pulled those uh, through to the middle just to basically modify the design, not necessary. And then I sprayed it again with 91% isopropyl alcohol. I let this cure for about five hours, which is a little less than usual. Normally I do about six to seven hours, but I wanted to actually demold it a little bit earlier this time to try something. Um, essentially I wanted to be able to modify the petals a little more than I usually do. So it was uh, fairly tacky when I took this out, meaning I had to be extra careful. I only get really one shot to place it down into the bowl. And then um, I have to make sure not to fold any of the sides onto each other or they'll just kind of stick to each other. So here you can see I am doing a lot more modification with these edges than I normally do. Some of them I actually kind of pinched them to make them thinner. Some I bent down in little fun ways. And I just wanted this one to have a lot of character. So it was a little bit of a gamble also because um, it's easier to mess it up at this stage if you demold it too early, but it actually worked out pretty well. And you can see the edges there are nice and kind of a little more funky than usual. Because I demolded it a little bit early, I did get some of the imprint from the edge of the bowl on the outside of my my bowl here which you'll see in a second as I show you the top you can see kind of a line there but I'm totally cool with that and I think this bowl just has a lot of character and is really pretty <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time